hurricane season is hitting its peak and we have a dangerous hurricane called Irma as the Leeward Islands braces. We know here, Trinidad Tobago swimmers should be aware of some of the swells being generated from Irma. You can just see it here, the powerful warm eye of Irma, now a category of four hurricane pushing its way closer towards the Leeward Islands, set to impact them as they get towards a late on Tuesday midnight for possibly a landfall across Antigua and then pushing it towards a Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands as they go through Wednesday. As definitely you can just see here, the steering winds are set to push Irma on a westerly track, but it's going to be heading over some very warm waters, and that's the concern. We could possibly see even Irma possibly reaching a Category 5 status as we go through the week. But the rains will definitely be the impact here, along with the, the catastrophic winds and also the storm surge. And right behind Irma, there's another disturbance. This one here, an area of a low pressure. This one is also set to brew, heading over some warm waters as well. You could be seeing this one developing as we go through the next uh, few days. And I've just reminded that the name after Irma is Jose. We could be watching that one developing by the time we get to the end of the week. So looking, therefore, at uh, the Tobago, then mostly clear, settled night for you as you go through the morning. Again, mostly sunny skies will start you off. Through the afternoon, the likelihood of a few showers popping up is increased as Irma pushes towards the north and lowers the pressures around where we are. But across in Trinidad and Tobago, not only will you be noticing the lighter winds, it will feel quite steamy as well, as long with the daytime heating, and all of that moisture collecting around the western half of Trinidad. Don't be surprised if you do see a thunder a cloud erupting over Diego Martin into Port of Spain, coming down towards Chaguanas and all along the western coastline as well. And with the, the light winds, you may see some showers developing around the Maruga, Guayaguari, and also pushing up into San Fernando, with a few of those are turning heavy or thundery. So be mindful about that during the heat of uh, the afternoon. So talking about the heat, looking at highs of uh, 35 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 32 degrees Celsius in Tobago following a rather cool night. But you will notice that the temperatures will take a dip, especially in Tobago on a Wednesday. A rain band here will likely bring us some uh, thundery showers as well. And to Trinidad, we could be seeing a lot of that possibility of developing some street or flash flooding on Wednesday, says the Met Service. And then once we get into Thursday and a Friday, things do begin to gradually dissipate and we get some clearer skies. But for those uh, boaters, look for those long swells being generated from Irma to come sweeping across uh, the Caribbean, continuing for the next uh, few days. Swells as long as 15 seconds, bringing wind waves up to about two and a half meters at times, possibly pushing three meters further out in the Atlantic that you head out. And you've got your high tide at 3 a.m. and one at 4 p.m. Bear in mind that the swells will be exasperated during those high tides. So there is Irma with a rather distinct eye. Later on in the week, we could be seeing Irma impacting the Turks and Caicos Islands as well as the Bahamas. So obviously they're watching the system quite closely and they're also on alert as they see the system passing through. So the rains then will be pushing across into Puerto Rico as we get towards uh, late on Wednesday and then eventually clearing the island of chain possibly by a Thursday. But for all those islands across in the Leeward Islands, they'll be obviously under a hurricane warning and uh, that uh, warning will extend all the way down to Dominica as well, the French Antilles included. Further south, however, for St. George's, mostly settled weather here. For Kingston, brief showers are likely at 33 degrees Celsius, and with Havana, the late afternoon thunder shower is likely as they get temperatures up to 34 degrees Celsius. So that's your weather, and that's it from me.